Um, okay, um, we have already done our basic poses and uh, we have done the timing and we're going to use um, the 24 frames that we have on our slider. Now let's see what we got up to now. Now remember, on our graph editor, if you go to Windows, uh, go to Animation Editor, Graph Editor. It's right here. Here is where you're gonna change your splines to whatever it is that you want. Whether it's going to be stepped, step mode, or it's gonna be flat, curve. Um, there are a bunch of tools right here you can use to refine your animation now we have basically five poses and one two three four five the fifth one is actually the same as the first now if you see I toggle these two between these two it's the same let's play back and see what we got until now so I'm gonna play it see um, our dude is walking pretty good alright stop that and uh, in order to view um, the animation in real time in Maya there is this tool they call the play blast which you can do and view your animation in real time so I'm gonna show you how to do that but before that we have to save so go to file save scene as click this one and write number three and click save so I'm gonna remove the splines these the handles I'm gonna go to show nerve curves so I've disabled them and to do the play blast if you right click and it's right here on your time slide so right click here's play blast you can open up this small box to do the settings what I use I will go to edit reset and bump the quality to 100 I'm gonna use IFF and scale this up to 100 and display size from Windows. I'm gonna do a play blast. You see, it's catching the files. And here we have our play blast. You see the pause now, the play in real time. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, we are ready to go to our graph editor where we can do um, something on our cars like make the car smooth and all that so um, bring back the handles and uh, what I usually do is close this one and uh, try to find something the viewport which is good right here I usually use perspective and graph you see the graph comes below there now I'm gonna press A to center my character I'm gonna use my pick to select all the handles and um, in order to to navigate through your graph editor you press and hold alt and use the mi middle bus button as in the viewport to pan around and scroll to zoom in and out of your graph editor now I'm gonna press A to make my curves um, fit to my screen on the graph editor as you see the, the, the curves are pretty good they're clean I mean they are in step mode which is right here um, alright so let's change this and see what we got I'm gonna select 
all the handles and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two flat tangent this automatically creates the in-betweens for my you see right here there are no keys but it created the in-betweens of my key pose see now we have a box out. let's preview this a little quick go to show and uh, remove the nerve scarf and do another play blast again okay. I'm gonna scale this down the windows actually 0 0.5 is gonna be okay and do a play blast you see right here we have to create the weight of the body to where this character travels I mean walking so I'm gonna show you how to get this body weight and uh, and the legs also close this one before that I'm gonna do another save and I'm gonna create this right here fall and we're back here now cars now let's break it down into small pieces before changing anything we have to look at our character the line of action and the body weight let's break it down we are looking at the body weight right now as a playthrough you can see our character body weight is shifting from left to right now where he's stepping the weight is shifting from left to right. Let me play this in real time and see. Damn, bam, 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 bam. I mean, you can see the body shifting from left to right. So I'm gonna select my body. Um, as he's stepping, we have to drop him down drop him down and uh, rotate him up a little bit and put all the weight on the left hand side now as you see my keys are in auto keyframe auto mode so whatever I might change is going to update see as he's taping the weight changes